Cutie Mark Crusaders camp out. Do it well. well. All right, Crusaders. I have a special treat for y'all. Hey, Sweetie Belle. Where's Rarity? She said she had business to do in Canterlot. Although, she never mentioned anything about it until I brought up the camp out. Oh, okay then. What about Rainbow Dash? Well, she was totally gonna come. But then she fractured her wing trying a new stunt. I told her that the water can be as hard as rock if you hit it fast enough. Anyway, girls, I'd like to introduce you to Chief Thunderhooves, the leader of the Buffalo Nation. Hello. Ooh! He's huge! But it's all fur, like a big fluffy teddy bear, or teddy buffalo. Hey. And this is Silverstar, the sheriff and mayor of Appaloosa. Howdy, y'all. Want to see my gun? Yes! No. Put that thing away, Silverstar. They're children present. Aww. And then, uh, my cousin Brayburn. Hey, cuz. Apple Bloom? Hey, Brayburn. What are you doing here? We're here to tell you the story of the Battle of Appaloosa. Once upon a time, big and fat, the buffalo roamed where Appaloosa sat. Owned by none. Prancing about, wild and free, the buffalo fought, how lucky are we? Blessed as one. They never thought that the day would come when they would have to share the land they roamed. Seldom done. The chief of the plains, wise and strong, Thunderhooves knew something was wrong. It's begun. Then the day came for the buffalo run, a sacred tradition impeded by none. Here they come. As they traversed the land that they had aired, they were stopped by a sight they could not bear. Bum, bum, bum. They looked around to see the cause. They spotted a town with shocks and odds. Tightly rung. He met with the sheriff, a booty to be, who claimed the land for him and his steed. Thunder who's roared, our land this be! I hope our intent is taken indeed. Judgment come. The buffalo sang for all to hear, while the settlers looked pained and covered their ears. We will fight for bovine freedom until we sacred lands today hear our song but then a stallion spoke we're settled here these lands are empty till y'all appear pony's got some these ponies that travel from far off lands Searching for solace in a sea of sands. Blisters stung. They made their way, had walked for days. When they found paradise, and decided to stay. The celebration. They set up the town, toiled and worked. An orchard rose from the fertile dirt. The apples hung. Worked and played, it was their new home. They thought it was theirs, that they were alone. The only ones. With a great rumbling, out of the blue, came the herd of buffalo, charging on through. Panic spun. They talked, squabbled, bickered and fought, not getting anywhere, the story or plot. The argument escalated to a great degree 
still would avail despite many a plea. Please no guns. The settlers thought that they could make a difference by raising their voices. Despite buffalo preference, we will fight for Appaloosa. We build this land and pay. We will raise now our voices today. Hear our song. song and judged its merit. That was dumb. Then Thunderhooves rose and made his voice heard. If the orchard's not moved, they'll be crushed by our herd. Annihilation. High noon came, trees still in root, and there stood the Appaloosans with pie. Ponies with pie. Thunderhoof's clan charged on down, intending to flatten the entire town. Let them fly. Amidst the battle, the bustle and clatter, the chief was pied with the mighty splatter. Pie crust flung. Down he was at the peak of the fight, when the pie dribbled down and he tasted a bite. Yum, yum, yum! The great buffalo cheered and praised the pie for what he tasted was sweet and oh so right. Revelation! The chief made a deal and the ponies agreed. They can keep the trees, but the pies will be free. That's the tale of 